welcome back to my channel. It's Lanka, by the way. I recently completely redid my room. I love it. It's so cute and cozy. I still have a couple more things to add, but I'm making a whole video out of that. In honor of me redoing my room, I'm also redoing my closet. My mom found these like closet insert things at Home Depot and she put it in my brother's closet. Looks great. I'm so jelly. So we're gonna be doing that for me next. It's been a while since we decided to do that and I'm getting impatient because I have a shopping problem and my closet doesn't seem to fit all the clothes that I have. Hence why I bought one of these. I hate it too. It's unstable. It doesn't fit in my room anymore because I got a desk. I didn't have a desk before and now I have a desk. I'm using it today to clean out my closet. I watched a video I don't remember what her name is, but I love her. I watch a lot of her videos. All credit goes to her. I have this clothing rack here. It's completely unstable. Starting off with tank tops. So let's get started. Majority of my tank tops, if not all of them, are from Brandy Melville just because I have not found a better tank top. I have everything organized by color because I just like that better. I have this in so many colors, so for sure I'm keeping this. I have this top, which I really like it. I just never worn it before. All right, then we have this. This is from Target. I've worn it a few times, and honestly, I don't like it that much. I think it's too big. I don't know. I never wear it, and I have a lot of black tank tops, clearly, so... It's RSN. This is my crop top collection. I want to like delve into more unique shirts. They're expensive. Like I know this is kind of pricey, but it's like 20 bucks for a t-shirt. Like I'll spend that, but I don't want to like unif and spend like $50 on a t-shirt. Like that makes me feel guilty. I know they're like, they made it in China too. It's like, I don't want to buy it. And then I see these and I'm like, they're great quality. Ooh. I have a collection of Gina tops. I loved these in 2019. I still think I can pull them off, even though like, I guess they're out of style now. I don't wanna get rid of them. If anything, I don't like this black one as much or this pink one. I think I should just get rid of these two because I barely wear them. But yeah, I still like them a lot. So I don't think I can bring myself to get rid of those just yet. Then I have this shirt. I remember I bought it and I was like, I can't wait for it to get here. Oh, I don't know. Let me try it on. I don't like it with this but I still kind of like it. When would I wear it? It's so basic and boring. I think I'm gonna keep it just cause I feel like it's such a simple like quick top to put on. All right, this I'm getting rid of. It's from Target. I don't like Target. Damn, my hair's knotted. Hey, come in. Hey, where the heck did you olive? Olive. She left. <laughs> this is giving me quarantine vibes. This was the first thing I wore the first day I got dressed coming out of quarantine. Not coming out of quarantine, during quarantine when I had to go to school. Like quarantine has a specific feeling and I'm getting that right now. Okay, I like the look of it, but when it's on, it's just weird like, don't really like how it looks. Mm, girl, I don't know. When I first bought it, my arms were like relatively scrawny. I didn't like how the top like accentuated that. See, I don't know if I like it or not. All right, so I actually think I love this top. Now that my arms are bigger, it just looks better and I look really freaking strong. So, cause I've been weightlifting. So ever since, damn bro. Okay, then I have this shirt, which I feel like is over. I think if I wore it with like jeans, it'd be kind of cute. Like, so I'm gonna keep it. Okay, but this is like improvement. Like, at least I got these hangers and I got all these shirts here. Now, we can move on to my personal favorite, collared shirts. I have loved a good collared shirt literally since middle school. I thought they were the cutest things ever. So, this is my collection. Plain black collared shirt, plain white collared shirt, keeping it, love it, gray, knitted, great material. This is from Forever 21. It was like 10 bucks. It's a sweater material. It's so comfortable and cute. It looks so flattering on. I'm gonna put it on. It's so flattering. I think I like a more masculine style. Love this. Great quality. Also Brandy Melville. I bought this thinking like this would look really cute with something like a tank top in the springtime. Haven't worn it yet. It's from the little boy section. I like it. I mean, 
It's cute, it's interesting, it's fun, but it does give me mechanic vibes. That would be cute, right? Like. I freaking love this shirt. Just such a vibe, okay? Ugly, but still looks really cute type shirts. I'll definitely be wearing this in the summer again. I bought this at a thrift store. I have no idea how I'm gonna style it. Maybe I could fold this up a bit. A vibe. A vibe. -y. A vibe. A vibe. This gives me the same vibes as the tie-dye shirt, and I just really like it. I think I'm gonna crop it. On to the next pile of clothing. I like wearing these with very basic jeans. I don't know, do I like this one that much? I feel like I don't like the colors of it. I don't think I like the colors of it, but it's just the colors, man. This shirt I love, it gives me like Jennifer Aniston 90s, like early 2000s, was on the show Friends, if you know what I mean. This hoe is huge, but I'll wear it like as a dress. This is now when things start to get a little out of order. I don't have too many like plain long sleeves. I like to buy sweaters more because I get cold easy. I bought this at Brandy Melville and honestly, it is not flattering on. I think it's because of the length, but it's just not flattering like like, if I cut it more... That's already looking better. I really like this, but I love a good polo, so I'm keeping it. Then I have this. I bought this at Goodwill because I thought it was really cool, but I feel like the sleeves are too short and it's just not very flattering, so... This is one of my favorite things I ever thrifted. Okay, and then same with this is one of the coolest things I ever thrifted. This is a little coffee shop in Hawaii on... Hawaii. Then I have these, which is one of the ones I'm wearing now. They're like basic, very basic hoodies. Okay, moving on to vests. I still like this. I think this would look so cute with the pants I'm wearing now. I still like this. Like, this is so cool. I love maroon right now. So now I have cardigans, another one of my bigger like collections because I wear cardigans all the time. I just purchased this. Like I don't know what I would wear with this. I have to wash it still, but I still think it looks really cool. I bought a few like really weird cardigans from the thrift store and this is one of those I don't know how I feel about it. I don't know. I'm keeping it just because I think I could find some cool way to wear it. For this shirt, I saw this at Goodwill and my mouth like kind of dropped. I was like, is this not like Tyler the Creator vibes? Like Flower Boy, Tyler the Creator, Golf Wang. Like that's what it's giving me. I just bought this at Forever 21. It's so cute. I love this color, olive green. It's my dog's name, Olive. My sweaters. I bought this at Goodwill and I thought I'd like it, but like it looks kind of ugly on and the sleeves aren't long enough. I don't like when the sweaters are like loose at the end. I like them to cinch. They look better that way. And this is really cool. It's got like detailing and a turdy neck. Most of my sweaters, because I hate paying for sweaters, are thrifted because they're inexpensive at thrift stores. So this is another thing I purchased at a thrift store. It's so soft. Now we have pretty much a random assortment of things. I have a few dresses, a cardigan, and then these flannels. So I love flannels. Pretty much every one of these I want to keep. Then I have this. To be honest, I hate big cardigans like this. Like this is too big to me. Maybe it's not bad. I have no idea. Why are my elbows out? Like, why are my elbows out of the sleeves? I feel like I'm too small for it, maybe. Now I have these dresses. The sad truth about dresses is I have to keep them because my mom's gonna be like, you don't have a single dress for anything. What are we gonna do? Finally, we're done with that part of my closet. Now, onto my part that I'm actually really excited for. Let's 
let's start off with workout clothes. Love this. I wear it over bras. These are my workout bras. I have a couple. I have these shirts, but I feel like I don't like them. When it gets warmer, I might get some like shorts and wear them with these. I think that'll look really cute. Gosh. Ah! Stop, 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 stop. Girl, the hell was that? Here we are again. Now we have crew neck. I actually got rid of a lot of my crew neck, but I still have more that I think I can get rid of that I just don't wear. Honestly, this is a golf shirt and I have one really similar to it that's comfy and soft. This top reminds me exactly the day after I dyed my hair bright red because green and red are like contrasting colors. I don't wanna get rid of this shirt, but at the same time, I don't wear it. Now for my insane amount of hoodies. I just bought this one, so I can't get rid of it yet. But then I have this shirt. So I bought this because I've been into maroon, but I hate this. The way it fits is so weird. It's like too tight in some areas and too loose in others. Like it's a weird hoodie. We have this hoodie. I love this hoodie. This is so cute. It's Haley Pham's merch. I have it in blue too. I love Haley Pham. She's just like one of the authentic YouTubers that I like. This is really cute. Like I really like the colors. I love tie dye right now. I have it in dark blue too. I like the dark blue one better though. This is Tiffany. TikTok merch that I got for free at school. I was in the elevator and this girl had a big box of stuff. She's like, do you like TikTok? I was like, um, heck yeah. So we got this giant hoodie. Okay, now we're on to jackets. Most likely I'm gonna get rid of those denim ones. Let's take a look. I bought this from Amazon, which I don't know why I would do that because I can go to Goodwill and find denim jackets literally anywhere. And honestly, this is so boring. This one, I actually like. It's very cool, it's distressed. I need to start wearing these, they're so cool. This one I got from Goodwill. This one I got from eBay. No idea why I bought a raincoat, but it's still kind of cute. I bought this at Goodwill. It's brand new with the tag on it. It's from Guess. This is like a $200 jacket. I got this at a Goodwill as well. It's just really cool, like, but like it gives me like Kendall Jenner, Kardashian skiing trip vibes. I'm not hanging these because I know I'm getting rid of them, but I'll show you guys what they are. So I got these pants from Pull and Bear and I don't like mom jeans anymore. And I ripped them on the butt a little bit. All right, then I have these Pull and Bear pants, but they're really cool, they're long. I just don't like how they're too big. So these are very cool. I have yet to wear them. Should I try them on? I'll try them on, they're comfortable. I never really liked them that much because they're like too loose here at the top. I bought these pants during quarantine. I was like really, really skinny. And since I started working out, I gained like muscle. So I don't know, I've just been seeing a lot of people wear these recently. So I think I'm gonna keep them. <laughs> That concludes my entire closet reorganization. Let me show you the mess right now that I made. So there's the mess, all the hangers. This is what my closet looks like. It barely looks like there was a change, which kind of sucks. Time to organize my actual closet. Did it guys. Epic closet clean up. Check. I have to clean my room so bad now, like the rest of it. But yeah, I hope you guys freaking enjoyed. Like this took a while. It's a great motivator for me to just get everything out of my closet and like look through it again. I try to do this as much as I possibly can because my closet tends to get very, very messy quickly. So now I'm literally physically so exhausted. I can just take a big fat nap. Love you guys so much. Peace out Girl Scouts. I'll catch you on the flip side in my next video. Thank you for watching. Baby, I take you far. Mama said she loved me more. If I had